If I were to lose everything and had to start over from the very beginning with only a thousand dollars, this is exactly what I would do to get to where I currently am today. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Brandon Trades, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on what I would do if I only had a thousand dollars to my name that would help me get to where I currently am today. So, as always, if you guys do find value in this video, consider clicking that like button as well as commenting down below if you want more videos in the future. Make sure to click that subscribe button, it would mean the absolute world to me. Well, without further ado, let's hop into the video okay so say you're starting from the very beginning you only have a thousand dollars your name and you want to become a full-time trader the very first thing that i would do and probably the most obvious is i would go get a job now if you're looking for a job and you specifically want to be an options trader or a stock trader you want to try to get a job that's going to be in the afternoon i would say anywhere from like you would go in around 12 to 3 because the most active time in the market is going to be that first hour to hour and a half so you don't really want to miss that because you're at work because that's going to be the best time for you to be able to sit here and actually look at the market and eventually be able to trade the market so again you want to get a job but you want to look for hours that are a little later in the day and if you're somebody who can't really get away from working during that first hour of the market open i do have a video specifically for swing trading how you can swing trade while working a full-time job if you guys do want to see that i will be leaving the link to that down in the description so make sure you guys do check out that video if you're somebody who has to work during that first hour of the market open so now that you have a thousand dollars and you have a job you now have money coming in that's going to be the most important thing now from there what you want to do is you want to take around i would say 200 to 300 dollars of the one thousand dollars that you have and you want to put that into education there's no reason to buy an $800 course. Those are not needed. You can find a majority of your information in trading books or even on YouTube for completely free. Like this channel right here, over 800 videos teaching you on how to trade. So if you wanna find some information, it's more than likely on my channel. But if you do wanna go the book route, there's tons of amazing books on Amazon. The three that I'm gonna highly suggest, and then the fourth one obviously is gonna be my book, but we'll get to that the very first one is going to be technical analysis of the financial markets this is pretty much referred to as the holy bible of trading so i would definitely get this one i think right now it's only like maybe 40 50 bucks i bought it when it was like 70 so again technical analysis of the financial markets now the second one is going to be how to day trade for a living this is an amazing book again if you're a newer trader and you want to learn how to day trade i would definitely get this i think this is only 20 bucks and around like 260 pages so Again, how to day trade for a living. And then definitely my favorite trading book besides my own is going to be Candlesticks and Pivot Point Trading Triggers by John Pearson. I think this was like 40, 50 bucks when I bought it. Maybe even a little more expensive. I think it's around the same price still. But again, you can find this on Amazon. Very cheap book. Lots of information that you're going to learn from this. And then of course, make sure to check out my book, The New Age of Technical Analysis. If you specifically want to learn more about my strategy, 450 pages of pure gold the link is going to be down in the description if you do want to get this on amazon okay so now that you spent a little bit of money educating yourself on how to trade in the market you're working your job to bring in more money plus you're learning off of youtube specifically this channel right here now what you want to do is you want to try to put some of what you've learned to the test because yes you can learn as much as possible about the markets but if you're not actually trading you're not going to be able to make this a full-time income isn't that the goal so you need to have skin in the game in order to actually become a successful trader so what i would suggest is doing a lot of back testing before you actually come into the market with real money. Now, I'm not somebody to suggest paper trading because paper trading can form a lot of bad habits and I've seen a lot of people go through this, but if you really don't have the money to actually throw in the market quite yet, you can paper trade, but there's one thing that you wanna keep in mind when you're paper trading. Because with paper trading, you have an infinite amount of money. So people get used to buying like 100, 200 contracts, and then they go to do that on a real account and they completely blow it. So if you do go the route of paper trading for you know the first couple of months, you wanna pretend that you're trading with the money that you would have in a real account. So if you're only gonna throw like $1,500 into an account, you should probably be buying like two to three contracts. That's it. 
on your paper trading account so again if you do go that route treat it like your real account don't form bad habits don't go out there buying 200 300 contracts just because you have an infinite amount of money again that's going to form very very bad habits but there are also tons of websites that you can back test on as well trading view is one of them the other one is like bull bear trading or something like that i'll try to find it and put it down in the description but those are two really good websites that you can back test on that is going to give you that real time data as the market day is going on when you're back testing so now that you got the education in and you're actually back testing and doing some actual trading once you feel comfortable that's when you actually want to put money in the account now right off the bat you don't want to put five thousand six thousand dollars into your account again you only had a thousand dollars to your name a few months ago so it would make no sense for you to put all of your net worth into an account and potentially lose all of it so yes you do have your job for income at the same time but just trust me you want to put in your account what you are willing to lose that's going to erase all emotions out of the equation because for example let's just say you only have ten thousand dollars to your name well if you put eight thousand dollars into your trading account and you lose a thousand that you need for bills food car payment rent whatever it is you're going to have an emotional response if you have a losing trade. And the last thing you want to do is trade with emotions because more than likely as a result, you're going to lose the rest of the account. And that's going to hurt you in the long run because you needed that money. But now let's say you have $10,000 and you put in, let's just say 500. Okay, well, if you lose 50 bucks, you know, so what big deal? You still have 9,500 more dollars to your name. When you're actually trading with real money, if it's more money than what you're willing to lose, you're going to have that emotional response. If you already accept the loss before you even get into the trade, you're going to trade with less emotion. And that's ideally what we want in the market. Now your first year to year and a half, it's going to be a lot of trial and error. You're going to have a lot more losses than usual, but you just got to stick through it you got to learn the art of risk management because in reality, there's 50-50 probability that we're going to make money in the market. That 50% that you could potentially lose, you need to know what your risk is because you could take $10 losses, but your winners are 20 bucks. So as a result, yeah, you could win only half the time and lose half the time, but you're still going to be a profitable trader because your losses were $10 while your winners were 20. So risk management is going to be very, very important for you. And again, that first year to year and a half, it's going to be a struggle. You're going to question your trading a lot, but you got to stick with the process. The other thing that I highly suggest you do as a new trader, you can actually learn three times the amount of information at once. So you can learn more than somebody who's been trading for three years within one year if you do these three things. So first off, after your trade, what you want to do is you want to go back and you want to recap it. You want to do a whole journal of what you were seeing in that trade, where your stop loss was, your take profit points. So let's just say I ended up going long on USDJPY, which is currently a swing that I am in. I ended up switching from a short position into a long position. So I would go through my journal, okay, why did I end up flipping long? Because as we can see on the daily time frame, we continue to hold that 8 EMA. We cracked below it slightly these two days, but immediately reclaimed it. That's why I went long. We also had that daily squeeze, orange dots. What do we know? The longer we hold above the moving averages with the squeeze, the higher the probability is that it's going to end up firing to the upside. Where's my overall price targets? This high right here, of course, I've been trimming all the way up and moving my stop. But where was my original stop loss? Below the daily 21 EMA. Why did I choose there? Because that's an invalidation point. So as you're sitting here journaling, you're going through all of these points and it's going to enhance the learning process because you're pretty much teaching yourself exactly what to look for. Let's say that we ended up having a losing trade, MRK. This is a loss that I took. And of course the contracts did, I think a little over hundred percent, it's okay. Anyway, so I ended up getting into this MRK swing this day right here and it ended up pulling back. The only thing I could say in this trade was I just bought when it was a little overextended. So. I learned from the loss and ended up pulling back to the moving averages where it would have been the best possible entry points right here. Again, it's in the past, but we learned from our mistakes. We learned from our losses. As you can see, if I got these two entries right here, this thing would have been an absolute printer. But I stuck to my risk. I told myself that the stop loss was below 88. So when we gapped down that next morning and we were really, you know, well below 88, I cut my position. So journaling is going to help a lot. Recording your trades is going to help a lot because when you're actually trading, everything's moving so quick. So you are learning from trading itself, 
going back and journaling about your trades that's now two and then recording your trades and watching the trades after the market closes that's going to make three so that's how you're going to learn three times faster than anybody else in the market who is not doing those three things so now the thing is with trading the longer you do it, the better you are going to get at it. So the biggest thing is just going to be education, refining your strategy, learning from your losers, using proper risk management. And that's going to be how you'll be able to flip your $1,000 into much more. Again, I cannot stress it enough. Risk management will be the most important. But anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. So hopefully you guys did find value. If you guys do want to learn more about my overall trading strategy, consider watching this video somewhere over here on the side of the screen. Other than that, make sure to click that subscribe button as well as clicking that bell icon. It would mean the absolute world to me. As always, everybody have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video.